When it comes to IELTS academic writing, students worry a lot. Either they are confused with the structure or they believe they need special knowledge related to the topic. Believe me, it's not as difficult as it seems. My name is Nash Shakta. I'm a professional IELTS trainer and also a co-founder of Master IELTS Online, the most effective online platform for IELTS preparation. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to write a band and description for graphs with a trend. So we will write a description based on the question below. The graph below shows the consumption of different kinds of meat in a European country between 1989 and 2014. Summarize the information and make comparisons where relevant. So the structure of the description would be the following. Introduction, overview, body paragraph 1 and body paragraph 2. Now you might wonder whether we need to write a conclusion. Well, if you're writing an overview, then a conclusion is not important. So now let us focus on how to write an introduction for the given question. Remember, the best way to write the introduction is to paraphrase the statement from the question. So the statement of the question is, the graph below shows the consumption of different kinds of meat in a European country between 1989 and 2014. So our introduction would be the following. The given graph indicates a variety of meat, beef, chicken and lamb, which was consumed in a country in Europe over a quarter of a century from 1989 to 2014. Pay attention to how we have paraphrased. Instead of the graph below shows, we have said the given graph indicates a variety of meat, different kinds of meat. Consumption, we have converted to its verb to consume. Since the change took place during a period of 25 years, we have mentioned over a quarter of a century. So next time when you write an introduction, pay attention to these points. If you want to learn more about how to write an introduction, click the link above on how to write an introduction to task 1 questions. Now let us focus on how to write an overview. So before we write an overview, here are the points we should focus on. We should focus on all the general trends. We should pay attention to the upward trends and downward trends. You should not mention figures. You can also mention the most popular category at the beginning and the end. Now, based on our line graph, we see that chicken and lamb had a downward trend, while beef had an upward trend. Also, we can see that chicken was the most popular meat in 1989, but in 2014, it was beef. So based on these points, we can write our overview the following way. Overall, the consumption of beef witnessed an upward trend, whereas the amount of chicken and lamb consumed dropped considerably over the period in question. Another point that should be highlighted is that chicken was the most popular meat in 1989, but by the year 2014, the highest preference was for beef. As you can see, when we write our overview, we can use words and phrases such as overall, what could be highlighted or underlined. Now let us focus on how to write our supporting paragraphs. We can have two body paragraphs based on the trends. Since chicken and lamb had a downward trend, we can describe them in one paragraph and beef in another paragraph since it had an upward trend. So we can write about the chicken consumption the following way. The amount of chicken eaten during the first five years fluctuated between 260 grams and 300 grams. Following this, the figure was stable at 300 grams until 1999, after which the consumption had witnessed a significant drop to 170 grams by the year 2014. Pay attention to the linkers we have used to connect ideas, following this, after which. Now let us see how to describe the consumption of lamb. The preference for lamb also witnessed a significant fall since the figure plunged from 230 grams to 150 grams. So our first body paragraph would be written the following way. Looking at the details, the amount of chicken eaten during the first five years fluctuated between 260 grams and 300 grams. Following this, the figure was stable at 300 grams per person until 1999, after which the consumption had witnessed a significant drop to around 170 grams per person by the year 2014. The preference for lamb also witnessed a significant fall since the figure plunged from 230 grams to 150 grams. 
So now let us see how to describe the consumption of beef. We can write the following way. Meanwhile, the amount of beef consumed increased significantly, although it was the least preferred meat in 1989. The consumption surged by 100 grams from around 170 grams to 280 grams. So the whole description will be written the following way. Well guys, if you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you want to achieve a very high score in IELTS, join us.